Well, a new tradition starting today in Richfield and it's sure to be a smashing success. Adam Duxer is there now. Adam, what is this new event all about? Yeah, Reg, you know, Halloween's great. You get the trick-or-treaters, you get the costumes on, the kids are looking cute, and you've got your pumpkins, your jack-o'-lanterns, right? And then Halloween ends and the costumes go away, and it's like, what do we do with these pumpkins? And it turns out a lot of them go in the trash. But cities like Richfield here are trying to find a way to be a little bit more creative, have a little bit of fun, and do kind of right by those pumpkins. I'm joined by Brianna and Zach from the city of Richfield. Brandon, I want to know, what is this event? It's the first time you're doing it, but what is today going to be all about here? Yep, so we're hosting our first, hopefully annual, pumpkin smash. Um, and basically, residents from all over Richfield are welcome to come, bring their, you know, tired and used up pumpkins and have fun smashing them. Yeah, this is something that y'all put together and kind of the hope behind it. What is the hope behind mm -hmm. doing something like this? Yeah, I feel like there's kind of two, two goals of the event. One is to divert those pumpkins from the landfill. Um, and then the, the, the second is to have fun doing it and just bring people together. You know, like one, one really special thing about Richfieldians is that they like a reason to kind of come out and be together and do something. And so we, we want to save those pumpkins from going to the landfill and repurpose them. And we also want to bring people together and have fun. Zach, you have a cool job because you work with solid waste, uh, which is unique. But it, you were saying before we got started, I mean, nationwide, these pumpkins, how many of them are going into landfills? Yeah, you know, looking at the figures, it switches year to year, but we're consistently seeing anywhere from one to two billion pumpkins a year getting produced for that Halloween to Thanksgiving stretch. And a lot of them are used for jack-o'-lanterns, which is fun, but you know, once they go to the landfill, which unfortunately nationwide and even in Minnesota is the vast majority, um, rather than like decomposing in a natural way where it's benefiting the soil, benefiting, you know, the plant life all around it. When it goes and kind of rots in a landfill, all it's doing is producing methane, producing leachate, which ends up costing us a lot more money down the road as we have to manage that even once the landfill is closed. Super cool idea here, 10 to noon today here at Veterans Park in Richfield. It's free. It sounds like there's going to be kind of a lot of fun things to do. Bring the kids, bring the costumes, you'll smash them. And then coming up in the next half hour, Reg, we're going to tell you about this here on the table. I'm excited because we maybe ran out of time for this segment, but this is going to be the start of the show today, I think. So you're going to want to stick with us a half hour from now. We're going to say how uh, we're getting our democracy on here in Richfield today as this event happens as well. We're looking forward to it, Adam. Thanks a lot. Now, Halloween is over and your pumpkins are probably past their prime. Richfield is starting a new tradition today to get them off your hands. Our Adam Duxer is there right now. We're talking about smashing pumpkins, right, Adam? <laughs> Yeah, not the 90s alternative group, though, Reg. I know you, our producer, our director, everyone has been quoting Billy Corgan today. This is a different kind of smashing pumpkins, but I think it's just as fun, if not more fun. Oh, yeah. it's, it's not a hard bar to clear to be more fun than Billy Corgan and the smashing <laughs> pumpkins. But again, we're here in Richfield at Veterans Park. I'm joined by Brianna and Zach from the city of Richfield. We are smashing pumpkins, though, today. What is this event that's going to be happening here in about an hour or so? What's it all about, Brianna? Mm -hmm. So we're hosting our first, hopefully, annual pumpkin smash. So people are invited to um, grab their, their used pumpkins from Halloween that no longer have a use and bring them here and smash them in fun ways. Um, they can throw them in the dumpster. They can stomp on them on a tarp, see how cool they look as they fall apart. Um, we're encouraging kids to get another use out of their Halloween costumes since you know, Halloween was such a cold night. Today is beautiful, so might as well, you know, put them on one more time before we put them away. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, we have apple cider and we have cookies, so we're just wanting the community to come out and enjoy this beautiful Saturday together and um, and help make sure those pumpkins don't go to the landfill. And quickly, we're in the mood to vote, right? I mean, we've got an election yes. coming up in a couple of days. This might be just as important, right? Because we're going to vote as well today. What is this vote that we've got here? Yes, absolutely. So um, this is our first pumpkin smash. So it's a little bit simpler, um, you know, just throwing and stomping. We want it to be even more exciting next year. So as people come, we're asking them to, um, we have a few different options, like smash your pumpkin with a snow plow, um, drop it from a fire truck ladder. So we're asking people to take these cool little cotton balls and, you know, 
pick, you know, only, only, vote, only vote once and only vote for yourself, but um, choose how we do it next year so that we can keep growing it and make it more fun and exciting. And Zach, I know we're short on time, but, but this is a big event as far as making sure these don't end up in landfills, which I know you're excited to talk to people about. You'll be here. You'll talk to people about that, too, while they're here. It's, uh, it's for a good cause, Reg, because they don't want these things in the trash. They want to compost them, reuse them. And again, there's cookies, there's voting, there's costumes. What more do you want? A good cause and lots of fun. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Adam.